Good day everyone, I am Anne Pauline El Nerva and I am going to discuss about the characteristics and elements of a novel. So first, I will discuss the uh, characteristics of novel. So first, so first characteristics. Uh, one of the main features of the novel is its writing in prose. That is to say that it is not written in a poetic format. This implies that it lacks metric rhythm, repetition, or periodicity. In some novels, lines can be used in verse with uh, different aesthetic purposes. However, in all these cases, it can be distinguished that the general style corresponds to prose and that the verse is used only as a narrative resource. So number two is length. Um, the length of novel is one of the most debate features within uh, the literary field. However, in general, the range is considered to be between 60,000 to uh, 200,000 words. So the extension depends on gender and history. And at times, when the plot and character development is brief, a novel can be very short. However, when the development of extensions warrants, it can uh, reach a large extent. So an example of this is the books of the saga of Harry Potter where each one of the novels was longer than the previous one. Uh, this is because as the plot and the stories of the different char characters became more complex, so a greater extension was necessary. The length depends on the sensitivity the author has to determine how necessary it is to develop a theme or a character. And there is no uh, standard measure and may vary according to the intentionality of each situation. So number three is innovation. So there is no rule that determines this character characteristic. However, throughout the history of the humanity, the novels have been uh, representatives of the innovation. That is to say, through them, the transit has been made to new ways of doing literature. In fact, his name itself speaks of innovation. It comes from the Latin, Latin word novelius, meaning young and new, which represents its importance within the vanguard of, its, of literature for its new generation. This can also be seen in its continuous transformation over the centuries, unlike other literary genre that have remained stable over time, especially in the realm of, 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 of poetry. So number four is fictitious, fictitious but plausible content. So, another uh, fundamental feature of the novel are the theme it address. It is considered, considered that these are pieces of fiction. However, his narrative is usually realistic and possess the facts plausibly and coherently. The reali realism is given by the characters, their relationships, and the coherence between the facts even if they are fictitious. This imp implies the existence of a logic underlying the events and the way in which the characters react to them. So the, so the novel can consistently accommodate genres such as fantasy and science fiction which are characterized by convincingly narrating facts that the reader recognizes as unreal. 
So number five is the de development of the plot. <clears throat> the plot refers to the events that unfold throughout history. Uh, this, is, this is determined by a conflict that raises the author and unfolds through different situations that leave the characters of the work. So the extension of the novel allows the plot to be developed widely, giving space to complex situations. So in many cases, even the central plot is surrounded by other small stories that are interconnected with the main uh, facts. Novels may have plots of different complexity. So this will depend depends on the number of characters and situations that are intertwined to shape the facts. So in any case, the quality of novel does not depend on the complexity of its plot. And in reality, it depends on the ability of the author to give each fact and each character the necessary depth in the development of it. So number six is character development. So thanks to the length and the realistic characteristics of novel, it is possible that there, are, there is also broad development of the characters. In some cases, uh, this is rep reflected in the existence of a large number of characters with different incidents within the plot. However, this possibility also leads to the creation of deep characters to which the author makes known through a biograph biography, details, or events that clearly reveal their character. So the depth of character development, however, is always different and depends on the on the characteristics of each novel. And last characteristics, uh, diversity of subgenre. So over time, the novel has been transformed and evolved into new themes, approaches, and aesthetic proposals. So for this reason, at, pre at present, there is a great variety of subgenre to the point that in some cases it is difficult to classify a novel in only one of them. Each subgenre employs different narrative techniques, uh, different style and tones to develop themes with very different approaches. So for example, historical novels use the narration of real historical facts but nuanced by fictional characters and events. So, this is done in order to propose a specific position on the events he narrates. So in contrast, the science fiction novel create future societies based on orders and technologies that do not exist. This with the aim of illustrating characteristics typical of the current society through comparison or hyperbole. Excuse me. So now let's have the elements of a novel. So first element, the characters. Characters are the imaginary people, animal, robots, and etc. who takes part in the action of the story. So the main character of your story is called the protagonists. So number two is setting. Setting is where the novel takes place. The setting might be a room, a forest, a battlefield, and etc. So setting can, number one, create atmosphere for your fiction, help your reader imagine the scenes. Uh, setting can, number two, convey inf information about a character. For example, if your character's life is in chaos, you could express this by showing her in her messy home. And last setting can, number three, provide plot opportunities. <coughs> so,
so there are several aspects to setting number one is place this is geographical location of the story since novels are lengthy the story may more may move from one place to another when asked to describe the setting, you may give the general geographical location. For example, in a novel which takes place in uh, numerous locations around Italy, you may mention only the country, or you may describe several specific locations. And number two, time. First, this refers to the period of history. If the story is set in the past, so, if the story is set in the past, if the story could happen now or at some recent unspecified time, we say that it is contemporary. If it is a science fiction story, it may be uh, set in the future. When describing setting, be as specific as the author is. Novels usually span or take place over a much longer period of time than short stories so you could so you may need to say that a novel setting in the in time is from 1937 to 1956 when describing the setting of a portion of the novel you may be able to specify the season month and even time of day and last, number three, is climate, climate or weather. This is an aspect of setting which is often forgotten, but it can be important to the novel. If the story begins in the midst of a hurricane, it is significant to the story. <coughs> so number three ele uh, elements, conflict. The struggle between opposing forces in the story. Conflict provides interest and suspense. So, there are various types of conflict which can usually be categorized as one of the following. So, number one is man versus nature. A character is struggling against nature. Number two, man versus man. A struggle between two or more characters. Number three, man versus society. A struggle between the main character and some aspect of society. And number four, man versus himself. A struggle of opposing forces within one character. So the reader usually follows the action of the main character throughout the novel. This character is referred to as the protagonist. The force with which the protagonist is in conflict is called antagonist. In the case of the fourth type of conflict listed, the antagonist would be another internal force within the protagonist. For example, is egg for example, is self-doubt. So number four elements is plot. The storyline, the ordered arrangement of incidents in a story. Plot arises out of the conflict in the story, which build to a climax. For a work of fiction to be worth reading, something has to happen by the end. You have to take the reader from point A to point B. This journey might be number one, a change in the character. For example, the character overcomes a challenge. And number two, a change in the reader's understanding. So, when when, uh, uh, an example of this is in the beginning readers thinks, think the protagonist was falsely accused of murder and by the 
and at the end the readers understand that he is guilty so your Nobel's plot is the roadmap you will take from point A to point B so number five point of view narrative narrative point of view is the perspective from which you tell a work of fiction your narrator is the voice that telling the story so number one is first person point of view so when we talk about ourselves our opinions and the things that happen to us we generally speak in the first person the biggest clue that a sentence is written in the first person is the use of first person pronoun pronouns so in the first sentence of this paragraph the pronouns appear in the bold text so we as our and ourselves are all first person pronouns uh, specifically they are plural first person pronouns Say singular first person pronouns include I, me, my, mine, and myself. So number two is second person point of view. The second person point of view belongs to the person or people being addressed. This is a uh, you perspective. Once again, the biggest indication of the second person is the use of second second person pronouns like you your yours yourself yourselves and that is number three is a uh, third person point of view it belongs to the person or people being talked about the third person pronouns uh, include he uh, him, his, himself, she, her, hers, herself, it, its, itself, they, them, their, theirs, and themselves. So number six, dialogue. It is characters conversa conversation presented directly on the page. If I tell you that, Marcia asked, Jan out so that is not a dialogue dialogue is when I show it to you in Marcia's exact word for example want to go to a movie Marcia ask Jan so dialogue tags are phrases such as he said and Marcia's ask Jan which let your reader know, know which character is speaking at each point in the dialogue you don't have to use dialogue tags when it's clear who's speaking without them. So last elements of a novel is theme. The central idea in the story or novel. It can usually be expressed in a short statement about human nature, life or universe, religion and etc. So that would be all. Thank you.